freshman year of college, I'm caravanning with some friends to Nashville, uh, following another car in the caravan as it unexpectedly moves to exit the freeway, I begin to merge right. I hear a honk. A car is in my blind spot and I am about to run into it. I quickly swerve back left but overdo it and trying to correct a second time, my car begins to fishtail, then to spin in full fast and the furious car chase mode across three lanes of highway traffic. We spin in silent panic until I can muster two words. We're okay. Undoubtedly the more optimistic of what seem the only two options while one is spinning out of control. I just as easily could have screamed, We're all gonna die! The ever faithful Carrie Underwood might suggest a third option. Jesus, take the wheel. When Christians belt out this phrase today, we usually mean something like, if we just hand all our tailspins, all our worry about tailspins over to Jesus, these instances and areas of our lives will turn out okay, maybe even hashtag blessed. 2,000 years before Carrie Underwood, the Apostle Paul concludes his well-known passage on the ubiquity of sin with a lament that turns to praise. Who will free me from this body of death? Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is Paul's Jesus take the wheel moment. But the Apostle means something different than what we mean. Carrie asks Jesus to take the wheel. Paul thanks Jesus because he knows that he's already taken it. Carrie wants Jesus to prevent a bad thing happening. Paul is quite certain that bad things will continue to happen, but is equally certain that Christ has redeemed and will redeem all creation from whatever evil befalls it. Carrie relies on her personal willingness to faith to assure her of a hopeful future. Paul relies on Christ's faithfulness and the future it promises to sustain him in the present. As my car spun across I-24, my friends and I weren't okay. No matter how many times I breathed out those words, we were traumatized and terrified. And still, we didn't die either. But that's not because Jesus saved us on that day from untimely death. What Easter people believe Jesus saves us from is the idea that death gets the final word, the anxious belief that whatever status we occupied in this life is somehow our eternal destiny as well. It is often the case that history feels like it's spinning out of control, that our personal lives feel as if they are spinning out of control. And as we've said over the past few weeks, as this global pandemic has revealed beyond a shadow of a doubt, it is true that neither you nor I nor our elected officials nor Jeff Bezos, have as much control over history as we'd like to think. Even God does not enter into history in order to control it. But God enters in to join history to God's self, that we may be eternally where God is. 2,000 years ago, Jesus did take the wheel. Not the wheel of history, but the wheel of eternity. And in so doing, freed history and we who occupy it from all anxiety about the future. Because God in Christ is in the driver's seat of eternity, we may rest assured that through and beyond our lives, love, the God who is love, surely wins.